Terrapin station, yeah. so they're terrapins. They're terrapins. <laughs> they're oh, terrapins. is that what they are? The okay. <laughs> yeah, the terrible terrapins. So they're the ter but you know, and, and I think the, the original concept was on uh, some famous uh, station in America, which I'm sure people will recognize, which has this sort of look. So the, there's always an inspiration, so I think that was part of the original thing. You can see these are all the seats, you know, no doubt the, state, the train would arrive and people would get out and... It's, it's just one of those dreams that never happened, but at least it got that far. Shall we ask how many Grateful Dead concerts you've been to? Uh, <laughs> a few, not that many, because, uh, you know, being from England, they didn't come over very much. A good friend of mine, Tom Salter, funny enough, uh, put on their first Grateful Dead concert in England. I think it was 72, and I used to go around his house, and they'd all be coming out the door, and it was all quite terrific, you know. And uh, But so, uh, you know, they, 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 they have been loved in England, too. Yeah. You know, just like the stones uh, over here. You know, oh, I yes, think, the stones. Um, this was his grandfather uh, in, in early days. So you've got some really early Rick Griffin. And, and oh, those I, are, those are got, actually very detailed. Yes, look at those. They're, they're mag magnificent. I mean, they're the really, I can, I'm looking so at the artwork and the detail. His grandfather was into World War. Uh, this, his, there was only one World War or something. Yeah. And, but you can see the, the, the intricacy. And this is the young, the young Rick Griffin. You know, and look at the framing that we, we've put it into, I think is also quite important. I find framing quite important. This, too. Series. this was done for the Grateful Dead, obviously, in New York City, where we're having the sale. <laughs> not, not in Radio City, of course. Um, and these, this would be the color separations from the printer. So this isn't just a poster. You can see all the color separations. And this, there's a whole series of these. So there's like six items, I think. And in they're this, one of your this, favorites, too. Right, I can see the Grateful Dead. Or is it, you like the style of artwork that went with them? Uh, I, I like the, the uh, the abandonment, it's sort of, it's, it's a smile, puts a smile on <laughs> skeletons, uh, you know, Radio City, and in fact... And they're uh, smiling. And of course, they're smiling, Radio City wasn't, and they made actually, uh, the, uh, they made the Grateful Dead withdraw the poster. <gasps> so there's they very did? few of this poster, which makes it even rarer. You which know, you but, love? Well, yes, of course. Oh, of course. It, it's such simple... Um, uh, anti-establishment behavior if you compare with what goes on today you know so this was very this easy. is the British uh, this is sort of the British side a bit um, obviously um, here you have posters by Hapshash and the colored coat they were called there were two guys Michael English and um, Nigel Weymouth okay. great artists and uh, funny enough these are very hard to find posters there's a lot of copies these days so oh. and all that time and you can see this has been silk screened. Their fame was silk screening rather than oh, litho printing. So you get this oh, sort of, see here, you go from silver right the way through blue to black by silk screening. And you can see from yellow through to orange. And they were masters of this. This is the only single double, double sized poster, I think, that they did. Um, and here you can see this is the move at the UFO Club, which was the London's equivalent to, say, the Fillmore. And uh, the Pink Floyd started their whole uh, career, I think, in, in that area. Then, this is quite famous. This is, this is a red, there's very little original art done, British original art. Most of the Hapshash items are in the Victorian Albert Museum. Mm -hmm. There happen to be two, which you're looking at, which aren't in the Victorian Albert Museum. This first one. I see, the Jimi Hendrix Jimi experience, Hendrix, which, yes. This is the poster, this is, this is actually, Victoria and Albert Museum, they did um, a retrospective, and they, this is the poster that, anyway, these guys uh, did for Jimi Hendrix for America, and he was in England and wanted them to do the poster. So uh, you can see the sort of the, the all the magical mystery tours going on inside here, and the uh, allegorical uh, ideas and the tantric art, and all the sort of mucha, it's Japanese prints, it's all a different sort of feeling, you know, it, it, the whole article about it in the, in the, in the uh, Nigel broken. giving it to somebody, because yeah. it says to, to Jimi Hendrix, with love from Nigel Weymouth. Oh, it actually says, it says oh, wow. And, That's I, and I met cool. Nigel, I was with Nigel actually only last week, so <laughs> oh, damn, I shouldn't have given that one away. Oh, no. these, these guys are pleased, because they're, you know, Nigel's a great, this, this is done by... That's a Beatles? Well, it's not Beatles, it was from the Beatles, had a company called Apple, which was a shop. And that, on the back of that, is, is it's made and designed for, for, the, for it's by uh, The Fool uh, in, uh, in Amsterdam. And they did a lot of work for The Beatles um, and also for The Incredible String Band. 
and that's called, I think, Into the Purple Valley or something. So it's quite magical, and you can see the, 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 the way it is, all the moons and the stars. Well, so that's all a big um, briefcase of his with all the various things and notes from Bill Graham, and it's his signature. So again, someone wants to buy This is it. his signature? Yes, yes. Well, that's kind of a fun signature. It is. These guys are all fun. You know, this is another more Rip Griffin over here. That's another date sign. Now, that's the original art for this double poster. So that's original art, again. You know, and he's got the allegorical moons and the stars and the, um, the, the Milky Way and, uh, you know, sometimes these guys see far deeper into it, but you, you can see what this is. This is Rick Griffin again, Gathering of the Tribes. I mean, look at that from Rick Griffin. It's just beautiful. It's just yeah. magical how the love and care and the, the, the spirit and hand-drawn, everything's done by hand uh, in, in